All right, over two years with the AirPods Pro Gen 1 and two weeks with the AirPods Pro Gen 2. Do I recommend upgrading to the Gen 2s if you have the Gen 1? Short answer is yes, but only if you use these AirPods for everything. Let's start off with the lifestyle improvements. The first one is the lanyard hole. This is something that I always use because on the Gen 1, I used to have a case that has a carabiner hole and I would always sweep it around my belt loop. So this is something that I'm already used to. And now with the Gen 2s, I don't have to buy a separate case just to have that feature. And I have the option to buy any lanyard style I want. This is the one that was shown at the Apple event, so I decided just to go with this. Since I've been using it, I do notice a bit of the fraying near the edge, so I don't know how long this will last. Now, if you do hook this onto your belt loop, here is an experience that I didn't find too pleasing with the Gen 1. A couple months ago, I was running towards the train station and it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. So the trains were coming like every 40 minutes. So I want to make sure that I got there really quick and give myself like 10 to 5 minutes just to rest up. But when I got there, I opened the case up and I noticed one of the buds was missing. I decided to skip my train and look for the earbud for about 30 minutes, retracing my steps and using the Find My app. The Bluetooth connection was pretty weak, but when I got close to it, I was hovering over it and I couldn't really find it specifically. And the whole ringing thing was too far for me to hear. So eventually I gave up and never found it again. It's probably still there somewhere. But luckily the Gen 2s was about to come out so I decided to wait. And now with the Gen 2s, I am super cautious about it. Luckily with this specific lanyard, it's long enough for me just to put it in my pocket so it's dangling and it doesn't get in my way when I'm trying to grab my phone. Another upgrade is the speaker on a case and it is useful when you're trying to find it or just in case you left it in your bag or somewhere. But what I find more useful every day is the charging sound whenever it makes, whenever it's charging. With the Gen 1s, I'm always hovering around the wireless pad, making sure that the lights turn on before I leave. The next biggest improvement is the noise active cancellation. Is it 2x better? I'm not too sure, but it is better. Whenever I'm at the gym walking on a treadmill or using a bus or even flying on a plane, I do notice or I do hear less of the ambient noise. When I first used the first gens, the ANC felt like I got sucked into my own world. The Gen 2s kind of hits a bit harder. So it's like whenever you get a hug, that one person just gives that last second squeeze. That's pretty much how it feels like. So it's just a bit better where it's noticeable. So how does it sound? Is it way better than a Gen 2s? It's not. It's not a day and night difference, but there is an improvement. I would say the bass is better, but it still sounds very close to the Gen 1s. In my personal opinion, I think the ANC is so much better that it helps out with the music where it blocks out more of the ambient sound, therefore making the sound of these Gen 2s, it sounds way more closer to the ear. Whereas on the Gen 1s, it kind of sounds more farther in the distance. Next up is the microphones. These are the Gen 1s. I don't really use microphones too often since I don't make phone calls or do any like FaceTiming, but this is how it sounds like with the Gen 1s. All right, now I'll switch over to the Gen 2s. I am using the voice recording app on iPhone to record this, and you guys can be the judge on which one is or has the better microphone. The next biggest thing that I've used quite often is being able to change volume swiping up and down on the AirPod. It did take a day or two to get used to, but after that, it kind of feels natural now and more second nature. The Gen 2s do have adaptive transparency, which I can't really comment on because I feel like it's very situational. I'm not always in a city walking around next to a jackhammer or a construction site, or even hear too much ambulances or fire trucks because at that point, I'm always on ANC mode anyways or have it on, so I feel like it's very situational and I won't be using this too often. I do keep it on just in case because why not? But for the most part, this feature is just fair. In the end, I do recommend upgrading if you are a very heavy AirPods Pro user. If you do have the AirPods Gen 1 and only use them for a little bit, making calls or only use them when you're at the gym, then I wouldn't really recommend you upgrading, not unless you lose them or if you need to replace them. So let me know your thoughts on the Gen 2s and if you do have them, do you think it's worth the upgrade? And if you are interested in seeing camera comparisons from the new iPhone 14 series, then I do have those as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.